Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And we're gonna talk about Ben Stoger's Dry Fire Reloaded, I'm gonna call it a training manual, uh, but book, I guess is what it is. So, not a, not a big book, not super thick or anything. Really uh, more of a reference material than, than I'd say like a book that you read through. Uh, the first couple chapters kind of set up the rest of the book. First couple chapters kind of explain Dry Fire and his methodology and his, his ideas behind it. And then the rest of the book, like the back three quarters, maybe 80% of the book is just different drills and stuff you can do. Um, so I like this book. Let's say that, that, that from the beginning. Okay, I like it. I think you should get it. I think you should read it. There's not enough material on dry fire. Uh, there's just not. You know, we, we still need more material and training around dry fire, which is funny considering that professional shooters dry fire, you know, nine out of every 10 rounds they fire, like, you know, nine out of every 10 trigger pulls are dry fire, right? Or something like that. Uh, it's high. It's very high. So I find it funny then that there's not more material on dry fire because everybody who shoots a lot knows if you want to get better, you need to dry fire more. That's, that's the work that you got to put in to get better. Everybody, everybody seems to know that, but yet we still don't have a lot of material on dry fire. Maybe it's because it's really boring and it's not, uh, you know, sexy and flashy and you can't get a big bang. I don't know, whatever. Point being, we need more material on that, okay? So that's in part why I picked up this book. Now, this is the reloaded version. I think he did a previous book that was kind of his dry fire routine. Uh, ben Stoger, who I guess looks like this, very handsome gentleman there, Ben. Uh, professional shooter of some sort. I, I don't know, I'm, I don't um, competitive shoot, but apparently that's who he is and good for him and seems to do well for himself. Uh, so this book comes from the perspective of dry firing to get better at competition, okay? now. I'm not as interested in dry firing to get better at competition as I am in dry firing to get better at shooting, uh, specifically some kind of self-defense, quasi-combat shooting stuff, right? Like I wanna stop someone who's trying to kill me. Uh, that's why I wanna get better. So that being said, there's a lot you can still learn from this book. I, I, like I said, I like the book, I would recommend the book, I would tell you to read it. Um, he provides some super helpful things. He also has, you can see him on the front cover here, he's like these mini targets that he sells. It was like 10 bucks for this pack of mini targets. I bought that after I started reading this book and I've been using them. Uh, they're simulated mini targets that you can kind of set up a distance and it gives you a simulated distance to the target. And I've, I've been using those, they've been helpful, I would recommend it. I like his drills in here. His drills are fun to work through and try and, and kind of uh, changes up my dry fire game a little bit, which I appreciated because it incorporates a little bit more movement. So big fan of the book, would recommend it. You just have to know it comes from a competition shooting perspective. He's saying, look, let's dry fire to be better competitive shooters. And so all of his dry fire is geared towards competition, which again, if you can shoot, you can shoot, okay? It's gonna make you a better combat shooter. But there are some things in there that, uh, that I just think don't directly apply. But hey, good book, worth reading. I consider competition shooting kind of the R&D department of the shooting world, right? They kind of go do the research and the development and they try stuff and they tweak stuff and they mess around with new parts or whatever. And then eventually it, it kind of funnels over into, into combat shooting or self-defense shooting or whatever, whatever you wanna call that, I don't know. Uh, so that's it. That's all I got. Dry Fire Reloaded by Ben Stoger. If you end up picking it up and reading it, uh, let me know. Just so you know, I treat this book like a reference material. Again, I don't treat it like a whole book that I'm just going to look through, but I will go back to reference it to set up different drills and different things that he uses in here in order to improve my own dry fire and ultimately my shooting game. Do brave deeds and endure.